I wonder how I'll achieve this. He immediately looks for vents. <laughs> I know there's no the vents here. Vent. There's got to be a oh, vent. there's a riddle, Trevor. There's got to be, be a vent somewhere. How do I take them all out? I don't figure out. Drop all these fans on them. <laughs> All these very, very slow fans. What are they doing? Yeah, what's the fans point of these? They're, they're not... purely for decoration. All right, let's take these guys there. Like, please don't. It doesn't me. have to be like this. It doesn't have to be like this. Killer whales, killer whales. That's the second let's play in a row where I've sung "Drunk Drivers Killer Whales." <laughs> I'm you glad I'm on your team. <laughs> I'm making a valuable contribution to this let's play. <laughs> for my emo looks. I'm on the scene. I'm, I'm providing the street cred for my obscure indie song. No, oh, yeah. Well, all right. Well, you just fucking put explosive gel on these walls already. Where? On both the weak walls. Oh. Use the texture mode to see, see where everyone is. I goes, oh yeah, no, I'll figure it out yourself. Oh no, okay, no, I'll, I'll do it for you. Yeah, okay, you don't need to do anything again. Bat mode activated. And just run past the window. <laughs> what was that? It was just a bat. <laughs> just one of six foot tall ab bats. <laughs> ab bat. A bet. <laughs> you can't spell bats without abs. T. Like <laughs> That's the code word. Expl <laughs> she now thinks that saying it doesn't need to be like this causes the room to explode. <laughs> it's only uses power for evil. It's a good job all that shrapnel didn't hit her. Oh wait, it did. Look, it's all around her. I like a like an alley jeed around her. I like a soccer mom haircut. Are you okay? I know I just covered you in bricks. <laughs> she got brick embedded in her face. Yeah, I've been worse. Mm? I am now brick face. Just oh. every, every time Batman interacts with someone, he turns them into a villain somehow. <laughs> I'm now. I, I've, yeah. I've seen Batman yeah. once. I am now. Seen Batman, man. Wait, he's fucking molded the scene Batman, man. <laughs> Bat seen Batman, man. Seen Bat. <laughs> I'm on the scene. Alfred, Bat this scene. mask doesn't look scary enough. What if I put more of a scary eyebrow effect on yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, they've molded a skull onto it. Yes. All right, continue uh, following Gordon's trail. You know, I, I feel like Batman's parents were killed when he was like in, at the peak of his edgy phase as a teen. Really? You think and he's, he's just stuck there? Do you not think Batman is currently at the peak of his edgy phase? No, he's stuck there. It's like, you know... Well, like, yeah, basically, like... Emotionally, but the whole thing is like he just didn't fuck. grow as a person. He went, nope, not gonna process this. See ya. It's quite, it's very cool. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Oh, yeah, it's I, starting to happen. I just wrote, like, I actually relate. I'm starting to like this I actually this relate to Batman more than a lot of fictional characters. Hmm. Campbell once said that if I were in a fictional character, I'd be Batman, and I really appreciate it. Because, cool. you know, he wears all black, he's paranoid, and he's an emotional retard. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, that was an insult, for fuck's sake. <laughs> no. He yeah, quite well fleshed out. Um, con con Especially to someone like, like Superman. I, I feel like it's possible to write a good Superman story, but a lot of writers just... You know what I don't like with Superman? When people try and make him edgy. Oh yeah, if we've got knives, you've got to stun him. Huh? If we've got knives, you, you've got to stun him. There you go. And then, then you can fuck him up. Alright, hold on. I'm going to take a break. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to take a break. Right, so stun him. There's too many words on the screen. It's proper distracting. So, so stun him, right? Yeah. And then attack him. Oh, so that yeah. doesn't that isn't a triangle finisher move? No, no, no. no. no it looked now, very if the reader doesn't have got knives, it means you've got to stun them before you can attack. It not doing any damage. All right, it did look very. In my defense, that looked very similar to the finishing move. Simple. Mm. Um, yeah, with Superman, I hate it when they try and make Superman dark and edgy. Like I was getting some wallpapers from my laptop the other day, and I was like, Superman wallpaper. And on every single one, he's like looking angry and pissed off at the camera. Like, why are you pissed off? He's Superman for fuck's sake. <laughs> Yeah. What's Superman got to be pissed off about? Other than the death of his entire planet and species. But he's got his cousin. He's got a dog. It's fine. Cousin. Is that caught up on the Superman comics? But I'm pretty sure he has a son now. But they're gonna fuck it all up soon anyway, because they're doing that 5G event. What? So basically, I think they're planning another reboot of the DC Comics universe soon, after like the lockdown's over and that. And I think they're basically replacing... I think what they're planning to do is they're basically like, all the current superheroes exist in like, the 80s or the 90s. Mm. And now they've retired and they're like old and they're being taken over by like new younger versions. But that's a terrible idea because Marvel did this in like 2015. They replaced like all the characters with like mm. Captain America is now Sam Wilson, Thor is now Freya, and and everyone hated it. Yeah. Because everyone got into comics from watching the movies. 
and were like, okay, I want to see my favorite characters in comics, and they just weren't there. Mm. That's like, what's the point? Yeah. Although, I think I heard in 5G they're going to do parallel series, where it's like the classic days of the original superheroes. If they do that as well, then it's cool. I just, mm. I don't read Batman comics to not read about Bruce Wayne, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. So I don't, I don't know. I guess they're just trying to appeal to more audiences. There's probably going to be a lot of like different representation. There's probably going to be a lot of like ethnic minorities on that. Um, Black man, Batman. I mean, Batman. I know. I, w I wonder how important representation is to ethnic minorities, like, because I wonder, you know, like when they have like superheroes being like black or you know gay or whatever, like. I think there's two areas to it. Like, yeah, you want them to be the same race or whatever. But they, I think the plots need to reflect the, the, the struggles of those people in the yeah, real world. Yeah, like not just well. have it as like, oh, you know? I'm black, but also it don't yeah, affect I'm the personality. I'm black skin. No, I also be... don't like it when they retcon established characters, but it's mm. fine if you want to make new characters that are like of certain minority groups. That's cool. Mm. But it's when like, I think people were pissed off before when they were like, oh, Iceman's gay now. I don't know how many Iceman fans there are. <laughs> like, I can't imagine giving a shit about Iceman, but apparently yeah. some people care and I weren't happy about it. He's gonna get fucking square eyes, man. Look how massive my breasts are. <laughs> it's square important eyes. to strike a fear in criminals that I have huge bat breasts. <laughs> okay, by the way, this is the exact point where the game gets good. Oh, dude, Batman X Bat Rouge. So just Rouge. Put it on the screen. No, Batman. don't put it on the screen, fuck. Put it on that screen. No, wait. <laughs> put it on the start There's screen now. You know what's funny? Yeah. Oh, this good. I don't want to spoil it, but that, that was really well timed with what's happening. But really? I don't want to spoil it. So Sick. this is where it gets good. So let's right. This is where it. Yeah. Thanks for making it this far, for you. It's about to get good. Probably Jesus skip. Christ. Like, I was wearing the same ninja pajamas as us in Bully last night. <laughs> I love how, like, Mark Hamill's Joker is actually funny. Mm. Like, it, they really get the balance well, uh, right between, like, insane fucking lunatic psychopath and actually funny guy. You want to explore this with Joel at well, by the Yeah, way? I just realised as I was thinking. I'm getting a hang of this game, man. I feel like this... One of the reasons I love Arkham Asylum is because it's a every single character has, like, the perfect version of them. Like, every villain is so well realised. Mm. In what? In, in Arkham Asylum. Oh, uh, right, yeah. Although I actually arguably prefer Dark Knight Rises Bane to comic book Bane. Mm. I, I always thought comic book Bane was a bit boring. He's just like a hard bastard who runs a, like, like a country. You know, he's like a revolutionary guy. He's, like, uh, he's, yeah. he's a lot more charismatic, yeah. you know? The problem with that is that it fell out in like Act 3 where like none of yeah. his principles were held up. Where he just gets blasted off. Oh my God, that Bane's death in fucking... Okay, hold on. <laughs> Please, Batman! Make me alive. Yeah, Bane's death in Dark Knight Rises is the worst fucking character death ever. Like, after all that build-up, he just gets shot off screen like a sack of shit by Catwoman. Mm. It's so bad. Like a sack of shit. Yeah. It's so bad. Oh, he's got that red eye. Oh, he was really He's got a fucking red eye filter on. Oh, no, he's in... He's in oh, no, I'm in the Dutch angle vent. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. I like how the the music like pause. Uh, oh, oh, slide it aside. <laughs> well, delicately. I'll right, come we... back for you later, bitch. Let's keep it in suspense. Are you gonna help the commissioner or? That's not the commissioner. That oh, is. <laughs> Just says commissioner real big on his side. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Who could it be? The I shit I don't know what fluid that is. It just looks like. Yeah, shit, basically. <laughs> Oh no, Harley, Harley Quinn is trying. <laughs> what has Harley done to you? <laughs> well, go and talk to him then, Jesus Christ. But I'm scared of the cutscene that's gonna occur. Like, someone's gonna, like, come and smash me. Alright, no, never mind. What the fuck is wrong with his eyes? Is that a glitch? Nope. Uh. How the fuck can he feel his pulse for those gloves? Sorry, <laughs> but yeah. He uh, felt Chris his bat pulse. Dead. You're no longer a bet. Every every human has a little bit of bat inside them, and Batman can well, sense I'm, that. Well, I feel like we're not taking Commissioner Gordon's death seriously. Kind of <laughs> I was too late. It's even going Dutch angle. I was. Oh, let me straighten that. Let me straighten that. <sighs> Fuck. Barbara, are you there? My eyes are red. Okay, all right, come on, let's go on. 
Oh, that's... He's stabbing. The, oh my god. Okay, you've got a fucking... There's your problem. <laughs> bat mites! Damn it. My one <laughs> weakness. Parasites. I have no other bat people to groom me. Grooming. Oh, Morg, that's really sure. Excellent. I'm sure always, I fine. thought Morg would have a U in it. Another U. Well... Things are getting fucking weird. I'll just like strain. <laughs> it's just I'm not, just it's not phased at all. <laughs> well, this looks like it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> I'll use my detective mode vision. Wait, what? Huh. Yeah, you might wanna get out of here. I'm not scared of you! He just immediately runs out. <laughs> See ya. Oh, it's the other Morg. Fantastic. Well, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a game glitch. We'll have to restart. Yeah, oh, alright. So <laughs> it's being 10 point. No. <laughs> Well, I guess you gotta find this kill. I prefer this morgue, it's a lot more quiet. Yeah, a lot more peaceful. Fucking no bodies in there won't shut the fuck up. Is that a body on the table? I mean it's a morgue, so probably. <laughs> ah. Father. What? Really? I'm a bet though. <laughs> Idiot. Father? Mom? Dressed in the dress? Don't, don't really weirdly look at dressing. <laughs> look at him. Distracting. Look at how little he gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this again. He's right, experienced. I, I have actually point. really been looking forward to this, but. Ah! Oh, it's Scarecrow. By the way, um, Arkham Asylum Scarecrow is. I've always wanted to um, cosplay him. Is like my go-to how if I if I can lose enough weight, I want to uh, cosplay Arkham Asylum Scarecrow. What is he really? Is he like canonically awesome. very skinny? Yeah, he's like super skinny. Wait, you're not you skinny? <laughs> I, I yeah, but I'm not I'm not skinny. Is he yeah, is he like? He's like real skinny. Me, the mechanic. Oh, this is this is good. This is going well. Holy shit. Okay, well, apart from the asylum disappearing into a swelling vortex of madness and evil, the animation's going all right. What's the ceiling? It's not there. Oh, I told you, this my. is where it gets good, man. I've been really looking forward to this bit. This 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 bit is like one of the best bits of the game, in my opinion. This is pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. This is like the point where everyone's like, okay, yeah, this is a cool game. Holy Can I go back into the other mark? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'll take the first one. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll take the, the one Joker. doesn't seem so bad now. <laughs> I'll take the Joker like annoying me. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh! Okay, so in this bit, you got to make sure the joke, uh, uh, Skycrow doesn't see you. If Skycrow sees you, you die. Really? Yeah. you got to stay out of his line of sight. I wonder at what point I got I infected. I fucking love Skycrow. What the fuck? Skycrow and Joker are my two favourite comic book villains. I fucking love Skycrow so much. I wonder at what point I got, like, drugged. I don't remember. Was it the gas? Uh, it was in the lift. You can subtly see it. Really? Yeah. It was really funny because it was when you said, um, put that thing on the screen. What, what was it when we were saying put it? Uh, the, the bat girl. Yeah. Um, that was the point where you got drugged. That's why it was funny because I was like, ah, this is where you get hit with the fear gas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so crouch band as well. Crouch, crouch, crouch. I, I was crouching. I was crouching! Yeah, you got to take this one so you can't rush through it. I was crouching. So badass. I see when we got skinny. It, how cool does that costume look there? That is... Fucking, the costuming is awesome, the writing of his dialogue is awesome, the atmosphere is awesome, the voice acting is fucking killer. I hate that when he comes back in Arkham Knight, he's like a stereotypical like villain, he's got like a British accent, and he's like, Ah, you fools and shit, and he like, loses mm. so much of his personality. Fuck it, I'm going to this one. Uh, crouch, 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 crouch. Yeah, boy! But honestly, Arkham Asylum, um, Scarecrow is like one of my favourite villains in anything of all time. Mm. I'm a huge fan. I'm probably like fanboying over him right now. <laughs> Alright, get it. 
I can't use detective mode. I'm fucking useless. There's no vents in this. If Batman's greatest fear is just a world with no vents. <laughs> Alright, move. Shimmy. Shimmy. <laughs> uh. I wonder if Scarecrow gets dizzy. Yeah. He's like, throw it. Ah, fuck. <laughs> it falls over and shit. I love that, like, you keep turning into Scarecrow. That's really cool. Alright, glide over the. Oh, you didn't. Yeah. Alright. The bandit is still. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Ah! Alright. I will keep telling us this. Oh, no, unless you want it. Uh. Uh, explosives. Just <laughs> <laughs> casually walk up there. Alright, make sure I draw back. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. That's really cool, man. I, I wonder if it's like a mod where you play as like the Scarecrow model the whole time. It's a shit world, man. Yeah, imagine like... Whoa. It's even shittier than the real world. Please, no. I'm not here. That explosion was nothing. It was an illusion, just like, like no, all this shit going on. <laughs> Jesus Christ, though. Put a headphone on on that. Oh, God. I thought you would get me then. Man, it looks so cool! Look at that spine! <laughs> I'll try and stop fanboying over Scarecrow, but it's just so cool. The vibration every time it comes over me is quite cool. I love how Scarecrow isn't even insane, he's just a fucking scumbag. What? So he's like, yeah, he's not insane, he just loves torturing people. It, basically, his thing is, he's a psychiatrist who's obsessed with fear. So he loves, like, making people, like, trip balls and see the worst fears, and then studying the effects. That's just, like, his so thing. This is Batman's worst fear. No, well, he's, 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 he's he, he, no, 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 he saw, um, his parents being like, hey, it's your fault, we're dead, fuck uh, you. yeah, that bit, yeah. Yeah, it, like, really makes you, like, witness your greatest insecurities. It's cool as fuck. It, I love how, I, 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 lo I love when stories, like, make you, like, question certain things about yourself, like, you think about, like, what you'd see if you had Scarecrow, I guess. Mm. I know exactly what I'd say, I'm not going to talk about it, but, I'm okay. yeah, I think that's one of the appeals of Scarecrow. I've been trapped on the ground. I'd be trapped on the ground, pumped full of acid. While having to watch season 11 of Doctor Who on a loop. <laughs> this is what happens when you let's play with an autistic guy. You get Doctor Who all the time. Yeah, it's splashings of Doctor Who. It was just some guy that gives a shit about. Guy. Fuck yeah. him. Oh, I don't See ya. <laughs> ah, dickhead. <laughs> I think that door's locked. Oh, there you ah! go. <laughs> just batch it. Alright, so you gotta stun that red guy. I don't think you can count on the red guy's attack either. Oh, oh nice, you lifted that bitch off the floor. Hell. Yeah, you gotta stun him. There you go. In my oh, snazzy in bat swish. In the dick. God, how cool is that combat though? Yeah. I said I can have What, mate? You got stunned. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you thought you had me, you little bitch. <laughs> it's so satisfying, isn't it? Mm. Boom! <laughs> Eat shit. My head, I'm You're dying. You're gonna be eating your own shit for a straw, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just kick him a little bit as you walk up. Like, he's got, he's received medical attention, but they're still feeding him <laughs> yeah. feces. He needs to learn. He needs to learn. You know, would you, I'd pay, I'd pay extra, I think, for a hospital that's like fetish themed. It's so, like you're injured, but you're around like real but sexy nurses. That so are, like... many hospitals for one for you. Like, there'd be like different wings for each fetish, yeah. but then those wings also have to be divided well, into like into like um, uh, medical areas. So they'd just be like uh, yeah. five hundred like, fucking blocks. In divides this. constantly. It's it's fractal. <laughs> no, I'd pick I'd pick a theme. So mine would just be like. Uh, domination or whatever, <laughs> and then you go for different wings. So like, as you're healing, you're slowly. I feel like if you have fetishes. a medical fetish, like going to the hospital ain't that bad. Like if you get stabbed, yeah. you're like, well, there's a very clear silver lining here. Un unless, <laughs> unless you're getting like circumcised, in which case a burner is agony. So 